What up there, bro? What's up now, JT, man? I just uh, had a chance to uh, look at your video, man, in, in, in response in, to about choir directors. And I must say, Doc, uh, you're on point, man, with it. Um, with me, man, most of my career, and like I said, I've been playing a little bit here and there for about close to 30 years. And, uh, but not all of that was inside the church. My church experience extends to about maybe 17 years. And in all of my churches, the one that God has allowed me to be, to play in, I mostly have been soul musician. And, uh, you were lucky, I was lucky to have some drummers every now and then have somebody come in and when you visit other churches or uh, other musicians visit you sometime they would have a bass player or maybe or something like that but most of the time I was sole musician except for like okay like uh and as far as choir directors I was it you know I was it I wore all the hats but I except for in my home church in my home church I was fortunate to have a real good director and uh she didn't know music as per se, like to read music and stuff, which I read music and everything, and I know how to teach and stuff like that. But she knew how to sing and very well. And uh, she had held that position as the choir director for this in particular choir, what we call choir number two, senior choir number two. And uh, we, we used to have a ball because all I would have to do is just, like you say, I'll just get the music ready. In other words, I was up on my game as far as knowing all the music, every every turn, every chord change, whatever, you know. And I knew the song. And if she did, whereas well, she did not know music per se, and she would try to give them the voice because she did know singing to a degree. She could sing very well. But if, if I had to, then I would say, no, y'all sopranos, you're not right. Or I might say, well, your alto, you need to go here. Uh, you shouldn't be over there. Don't try to go over the Sopranos alto. Don't do that. You know, stuff like that. But you can't be... But other stuff like keeping the choir together and keeping down the chitter-chatter and other stuff, the administrative things of the choir, which I don't even want to be involved in. Uh, she took care of all of that about what time we were supposed to rehearse for a certain thing or event. What time we were going to meet, where we was going to meet, where, what time we should be there, and all like that. I mean, you, that was just invaluable, and I really missed that. I haven't been with my home church now in quite a few years. Um, but I just really missed that. And I mean, like you said, we had this, this here big, this here big shotness and thinking you all of that in a bag of chips, man. We need to forget about that. We need each other. Man, I would love to have a good director, the one that would take their knowledge, whether male or female, take what they know, and then that would take a load off of me. In other words, I wouldn't have to worry about trying to do all of it. And you got good help, man. It doesn't do nothing but make the thing better. So, JT, man, you keep on doing what you do. Um, and I mean it, man. You keep on doing what you're doing, though, because it's uplifting a lot of us out here. And, uh, we're living in some time now, man, where we need every lift we can get, and then some. The economy is so uncertain, but there's one thing about it, brother. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. In God's economy, nothing wrong with his economy, so that's the one I deal in, so I'm fine, and so are you. And I think that if, if we all in the body of Christ would come, come together, as you were saying, and just forget about who's in charge and who's the boss and all that. We could get a whole lot done. And matter of fact, we could even finance each other to a degree. I help you, you help me. That's the way it should be. So, but we can't do that because, like I said, we can't put our differences aside. Just like you said about the guy cutting the organ off. Just because I come in and you know that I'm a player. Just because I make a player song maybe a little bit better than you can. Or you might play one just a little bit better than I can. We all got different weaknesses and strengths. So, you know, no need to get all upset and all, all messed up about that. Forget that. And let's come on and get together and let's get this thing done and let's get it. As long as it's done, done right. Who cares about who get the credit? 
And uh, so, like I said, man, you know, I, I didn't even do a word for the day. This is the, this is suffice enough. You know what I'm saying? It's just good to it just say it just, for people to get along and to do what's right. I had rehearsal last night, cause like I say, it's all uh, it's almost two in the morning. I had rehearsal uh, from I think we started about six thirty, and went to about nine. Normally I don't keep them for about an hour and a half, but sometimes you have to do things like I said when you're wearing all the hats. See, I have to do all the teaching, all the music, all the recording when we do record out there in the studio and everything. So when you have good help, man, praise it. Give the God the glory, but then you give people their credit too. Give people what they deserve, they'll do. I mean, don't don't feel robbed. Some people feel robbed when they got to give other people their credit. But the Bible said give honor to whom honor is due. And then there are some people that deserve double honor. So if they're doing a good job, give them their props and their credit for that. So, hey, dog, keep it up, man. This is the Midi Man coming at you from Walker's Music saying peace and goodbye.